Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. We are in Psalm 82 today, and I love this psalm. I love the whole Word of God, and there are nuggets of truth that you can glean from every Word of God if you will but meditate and take time in God's Word. This psalm is actually um, a plea for justice, or another um, name for it is Earth's Rulers on Trial. Reading through and meditating on Psalm 82, kind of line upon line and precept upon precept, is very much like reading or listening to today's news. It is also a cry from the heart of God's people who long for justice to be done. As a Christian, our spirits should be vexed with the evil around us today. Those who call evil good and good evil. You know, there are only eight verses in this psalm, and this is what and how they read. God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? And then there's that pause, Selah, which means Think about what you have just read. And then verse 3 says, Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and the needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are unstable. I said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Verse 8 says, Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all nations. In John chapter 10, verses 32 through 36, Jesus actually quoted verse 6 of this chapter while in confrontation with his enemies, namely the religious leaders of his day, because he was making himself equal with God. Jesus said, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? He is asking them, Have you not read this in your law? And then he goes on to say, If he, speaking of his Father God, called them gods, to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent, he's now speaking about himself, um, whom the Father sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? In this psalm, Uh, judges and those who are in authority are addressed by God as gods. Now, this does not mean those in authority are divine. The position that God has placed them in is of him. And the position of authority is divinely appointed by God. Whether you are a mother, a father, a minister, government official, or whatever uh, position of authority that God has entrusted to you, this is divine. It's it's divinely appointed. As Paul so aptly put Romans 13, 1, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. So God calls them gods here to dignify the position that he has ordained. So as he addresses the congregation, as verse 1 reads, he is actually addressing those in authority, reminding them that the earth and the fullness thereof still belongs to him, and earth, so to speak, is his courtroom, and he will judge someday to the fullest extent those placed in positions of authority. 
In verse 2, God is reproving those who have judged unfairly. He said, how long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? He knows they are guilty of corruption and evil. They favor the rich and they oppress the poor and especially the innocent and oppressed and those who cannot defend themselves. Now, in the context of this whole psalm, listen to verse 3 and 4 in regards to the laws that have recently been passed regarding abortion. Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked. Beloved as Christians and living in a nation founded upon Christian principles, we all have a responsibility in social justice. We are to fight for and defend the rights of those who cannot defend themselves. Those who are corrupt and are in power argue that everyone has free choice. Yes, that is correct. But what about those who are too young and innocent to speak up for themselves and to defend their choice? Would they not have the choice to live and not die? Beloved, the choices we make many times affect others for good or for evil. We as Christians with a moral compass should help those who cannot help themselves. But despite all the warnings of Scripture and godly men and women and their own conscience, verse 5 depicts those who are bent in having their own way. It says they do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are unstable. Those who walk in darkness cannot help others. And those who have been given positions and do um, not use them to defend the innocent cause the foundations of our very society to become unstable. In fact, law and order become more like chaos. But as always, the writer of this psalm leaves us with hope. For the God of hope himself pronounces his judgment on those who do not defend the rights of the innocent. The last verse reads, I said you are gods and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Our hope, beloved, is in the return of our Lord Jesus Christ to establish his kingdom upon this earth where social justice and righteousness will reign and every evil deed will be done away with someday. This is the hope that we have and this is the faith that we have to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636. Never miss your favorite show again. For more than 30 years, KNEO has been bringing you great Bible teachers on a local and national level. And now, we've made it easier than ever to hear from these great men and women of God. KNEO's entire lineup is now available to listen anytime, anywhere, through our website. Go to KNEO.org slash podcast to see all the options. You can search for programs alphabetically, or you can select individual categories like culture, kids, leadership, or music. We even have a category just for locally produced programs so you can hear from pastors and spiritual leaders located right here in the four-state area. And all these resources are absolutely free. KNEO's mission is to get God's Word in front of you, and this is one of the ways we do it. Give it a try today. Go to KNEO.org and click on the podcast tab to get started.